Man, Texas can't stop winning. The Texas Longhorns are currently experiencing their best season in recent memory. The Longhorns started their 2023 season off hot on a five game winning streak, beating Alabama and Kansas. Unfortunately, the Longhorns were not able to beat Oklahoma in the Red River rivalry. But from there, the Longhorns went on a six game winning streak, beating teams like Kansas State, TCU, and Texas Tech, all to have themselves wind up in the Big 12 championship game versus Oklahoma State, where they won convincingly. They now find themselves in the college football playoffs where they will go up against the second ranked Washington Huskies on January 1st. And even though the Longhorns are not officially in their offseason yet, they have already been making massive moves for the next year's Longhorn team. I mean, the Longhorns have already landed dynamic four-star transfer prospect at wide receiver from Houston, Matthew Golden, and four-star transfer prospect at safety from Clemson, Andrew Makuba. They are also looking to be a lock to land one of the best edge rushers in the transfer portal in UTSA's own Trey Moore. And it looks like not only are the Longhorns going to be keeping Quinn Ewers, but they also were able to keep Arch Manning away from that transfer portal. And then just to tie the bow on top of this amazing season that the Longhorns have been having, they finished off with the third best recruiting class in the country. Now we don't have time to take a look at every single player that the Longhorns brought in in their 2024 recruiting class. Actually comment down below if you actually wanna see that video. This would be a really, really long video, but we're gonna be taking a look at the Longhorns top five recruits that they picked up in the class of 2024. So guys, buckle your seatbelts in, leave this video a like and hit that subscribe button and turn on all your notifications because we will keep you up to date with everything that the Longhorns are doing both in the college football playoffs and heading into next season. So hit that subscribe button, sit back, relax, and let's take a look at the Longhorns top five recruits in the class of 2024. Three, two, one. Starting it off, the Longhorns landed highly coveted four-star recruit and the third best safety in the class of 2024, Kobe Black, standing at six foot tall, 190 pounds. This dude, he's actually a, a DB, so he's been flip-flopping back and forth between, sit down, little boy, what you thought this was? He's actually been flip-flopping back and forth between being ranked as a corner and being ranked as a safety, so that's why I just rank him as a DB. But this dude is a top 50 recruit in the class of 2024. I mean, you're talking about just a couple of places away from this being a five-star recruit. This kid is on another level. Super, super dynamic, rangy. He can cover all over the field, and you can play him at both corner and at and at uh, safety as well. So he's going to be bringing a lot of dynamic positioning as far as just where you can put him in the secondary for the Longhorns. Get going. Get going. Get going. Get the step in. Get the step in. Let's go. Yeah, we're taking that in. Uh, yeah, we gone. Bounce it out to the sideline. Swoop. No, it's a little spin move off of him. Let's go. Ankles, yeah, let's go. And why stop at just the third best safety in the country when you can also land the second best safety in the country who you guys actually flipped from Florida, five-star recruit Xavier Filsam. I, I, always, I always mess up his last name, so he's just, I'm just going to call him Xavier from here on out. This guy is six foot and a half, I want to say, 185 pounds. And this, I mean, you are you literally landed two of the most rangy and explosive safeties in the class of 2024. You literally pair those two guys up in the secondary and you have a lockdown secondary, especially moving over to the SEC. You know, there's, there's you're going to need safeties that can come down into the box and help in run support. But then you also need guys that are able to go up against these bigger, more physical wide receivers that the SEC tends to have. But yeah, Xavier is a, I, I've been covering this highlight tape for a while now. He is rangy and in, in, like instinctual. And when he needs to hit, he can come out there and hit. Great backpedal eyes, eyes on the play. Where are you going? Uh, right place, right time. Thank you. Let's go. Other way. We're taking that the other way. And then look at the speed. Look at the speed. He's playing on a completely different speed than everybody else. Break all that up. Next up, the Longhorns have to start making preparations for Arch Manning. So why not bring in the second best offensive tackle in the country, standing at six foot five, 285 pounds. I'm talking about five-star recruit from modern day high school, Brandon Baker. This guy is going to be a staple of the Longhorns offensive line. Where are you going? Oh, way to spin back and go pick him up. I, I love the spin back. I love the fact that he trusted himself to get, to get himself right back into position. 
Brandon Baker, he was another one of these guys that, you know, highly, highly sought after recruit and Texas was able to win, to, uh, was able to win out. And Brandon Baker goes up against quality competition week in and week out. And he has done nothing but shut everybody down. Where are you going? Nope. Where are you going? Nope. Just great technique, solid base. He doesn't, he's not too energetic. He, he makes th only the moves that he needs to make. Yeah, Brandon Baker, this dude is going to be a staple of the Longhorns offensive line success for years to come. Next up, we saw how dominant that Anthony Hill Jr. was in his true freshman season for the Longhorns. Why not pair him up with another phenomenal edge rusher in five-star recruit from Duncanville High School, Colin Simmons. This dude... He is so explosive. Literally pairing him up with Anthony Hill is about to be disgusting. Like, you're talking about a kid who's six foot three, 215, 220 pounds, and is able to just run and bend the way that he does. It is unreal how athletic that Colin Simmons is. And, and guys, he plays in the toughest division in Texas football and in football as a whole. And he just eats all day long just blow through all that where you going i feel bad for every single quarterback that they had to go up against colin simmons and this and this uh duncanville panther defense yeah pairing him up with anthony hill plus all the other edge rushers that you guys already have there the young edge rushers that you guys have there texas i'm telling y'all to me especially if Colin, if uh, Quinn Ewers comes back for for a senior year. Texas is going to have the most stacked team in college football. Like, literally, it's going to be unreal how gifted that Texas's team is going to be. And last but certainly not least, the Longhorns' number one recruit in the class of 2024 is five-star wide receiver standing at six foot two, 205 pounds, Ryan Wingo. Pairing him up with Jonte Cook, and you guys, and you guys are going to be in the mix to land Evan Stewart from the transfer portal. And you got Matthew Golden there. Plus DeAndre Moore Jr. You guys got so much talent at wide receiver, plus the talent that you're bringing back from in this year's class. Quinn Ewers or Arch Manning or whoever's gonna be quarterback uh in the future of for the Longhorns. They're going to have so many weapons to throw to. It's about to be unreal. Ryan Wingo, he's just that perfect wide receiver. Six foot two, 205 pounds. He's big enough to be able to get in and out of his routes while maintaining speed. But he's also not so small that he can't go up against bigger, bigger safeties. You know, be able to win that 50-50 ball more consistently. I mean, just look at him take off. As soon as he hits that open grass, he is gone. Phenomenal top end speed. Great acceleration. He has. He's able to keep that speed acceleration all the way through his top end speed a lot of guys you know they have to have really quick bursts but then they lose that on the top end speed or it takes them forever to get to the top speed but when they get there it's unbelievably fast ryan wingo has that smooth and linear acceleration that you love to see <laughs> yeah thank you other way, we're taking that the other way. We gone. Let's go. So those are the Texas Longhorns top five recruits in the class of 2024. I want you guys to comment down below who is your favorite out of the guys that we covered. For me, it has to be Colin Simmons. I think that that guy is going to be unreal for the Longhorns. But I want to hear from y'all. Comment your thoughts down below. Leave this video a like and hit that subscribe button. I think we can all say Texas is back. Texas is officially back. Want to, I want to hear what you guys have to say down below. Comment your thoughts down below. Be sure to leave this video a like and hit that subscribe button and turn on all your notifications so you do not miss out on any of the Longhorn content that we drop or just any of the content that we drop, keeping you up to date with everything that's going on in college football. I love and appreciate all y'all. I want you to know, I know it's the holidays. I know that we're getting that much closer to the holidays. I know that family could be in town and that could be stressful or there might not be family in town or this might be the first holidays without somebody. I know that it could be just a tough time for a lot of people. Know that God is always right there with you guys going through everything and all he wants, like literally, if you ever just feel overwhelmed by anything, 
know that you can always call upon God. And it's not like he's so far away. He's literally right there with you because he never left you. Always remember that. Love and appreciate all y'all. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.